Before starting the design of the motorhome, two lists of requirements for it were laid down. The first list of requirements is bureaucratic. They are related to its registration. The second list of requirements are technical requirements related to the operation condition of the motorhome. Let's consider the items of the first list of the requirements related to the bureaucracy. The legislation of various countries in Europe, in USA and Canada for vehicles are different. On the one hand, it is extremely difficult to take into account all these differences in one motorhome model. On the other hand, we don't want to make a motorhome model that can be operated only in a limited list of countries. What type of motorhome the customer want to have partially refer to the bureaucratic list of requirements. It could be motorhome in the form of trainer or motorhome mounted on a truck chassis or motorhome made in the form of a modified bus. Let's consider the items in the second list of requirements. These are technical requirements related to the operation condition of the motorhome. Some owner of the motorhome operate them near urban areas, so that the motorhome moves to the destination point along a good road. Some owner of motorhome operate them in such a way that they travel to their destination point exactly off road. It should be taken into account that during any operation of motorhome in nature, it always travels a short distance off road to its destination point. Technical requirements include customer requests for the type of vehicle for the motorhome, to make a motorhome in the form of a trailer, or to make a motorhome mounted on the truck chassis, or make a motorhome in the form of modified bus. We fix it a super complicated job. We had carried out all these requirements. How this is done is listed in the following three items. The first item. We will make only two types of motorhomes. The first and the second motorhome type are partially two flow. For the first type and for the second type of motorhomes, overall dimension, gross trailer weight and margin of safety weight Sleeping capacity for people you can see in the pictures. The second item. The motorhome will be located on the metal deck, the structure of which is a truss. The height of the deck is 0.32 meter. The deck is an integral part of the motorhome. The third item. A motorhome on deck is a cargo, which is secured on either a special trailer chassis or on a truck chassis. This point is very important. This allows you to operate the motorhome in any country. Now examine the above three items in detail. The first item. The first and the second motorhome type are partially to flow. The first and the second type of the motorhome, due to their dimension and weight, can be used as a cargo on a trailer or on a truck. And this can be done in any country in Europe, in USA or Canada. This means our motorhome can be operated in any country. The first motorhome type can provide very comfortable living condition for two people for more than a month. The second motorhome type can provide super comfortable living conditions for two people for more than a month. 
The second patahome type can provide very comfortable living condition for four or five people for more than a month. The electrical wiring for all type is made in a way that short term immersion in a water to a depth of one meter is possible without loss of electrical wiring functionality. Second item, the metal deck under the motorhome is made as a truss. This metal deck is closed volume with a height of 0.32 meter. In this closed volume can be placed big water tanks, a significant number of rechargeable batteries, a heating system, and there will be remain big space for storing tools and other things. The significant number of rechargeable batteries means 10, 20 or 30 batteries. The close volume of the deck located under the floor of motorhome retain heat in the motorhome. The metal deck under the motorhome is a rigid, durable structure that allow you to lift the motorhome with a crane or a forklift. The motorhome can be installed or removed from track on track, from trailer on trailer. The load capacity and safety margin of the first and the second motorhome type allow it to be faced up with a steel sheets 0.5 mm thick. In this case, taking into account the rigidity of the metal deck, the motorhome will be stand up to long term off road travel. The third item the trailer for the motorhome is made so that it can be registered in any country in Europe, in USA, or in Canada. Now the trailer is already registered in Ukraine and it has a state Ukrainian number. With transit number, with the cargo of motorhome, it can be delivered to the customer to any country in Europe, in USA or in Canada. The support wheel is located as close as possible to the central axis of the trailer. This makes it easier to place the motorhome in the parking stall. Ground clearance behind the trailer is 0.33 meter. The diameter of the wheel is 0.65 meter. This ensures good cross-country ability of the trailer even off-road. Electrical wiring for all models is designed to withstand short-term immersion in water. Thus, all the motorhome type has the ability to operate them off-road. In conclusion, we will explain why we decided not to produce a motorhome in the form of modified bus. Modern, super comfortable motorhome in the form of a bus cannot provide a comfortable life for people without an additional specially equipped vehicle. When such a bus has a walking electric generator, only a few people will say that they can live and sleep in this time comfortably. For a motorhome in the form of modified bus, the customer usually pay a significant amount of money. Therefore, we decided to make such motorhome exclusively according to individual specific order. In the next video, we will tell you how we fought to keep the heat in our motorhome. We will show and explain the construction of the motorhome. We will tell you how we reduce the cost of its maintenance during the cool period of year from 2,500 euros to 350 euros per month.